Dr. Bernie Dodge coordena na Universidade de San Diego o WebQuest, que propõe um método investigativo para o uso da internet na educação. Como você poderia resumir esse método? Uh, a web... The WebQuest model is something that I, that I came up with to, as, as part of one of my own classes five years ago, five and a half years ago. So early 1995, which is 40 centuries ago in Internet time, uh, I needed to find a way to teach teachers to use the web well. And uh, the WebQuest model is what I came up with pretty much all in one sitting. Basically, it is a lesson format like any other doesn't require any special software other than the ability to create web pages and it's a it's a, a lesson that has a structure like like a good any other good lesson but the critical thing two critical things are that uh, uh, it's wrapped around a doable and interesting task and ideally that task is something that adults do in the real world so instead of asking kids to write a three-page essay on something uh, which is a task that no one outside of school ever gets asked to do Uh, I ask kids instead to design, for example, design a vacation in Canada that, that will cost a thousand dollars and take seven days and here's a family of four that you have to make happy who have these needs. Uh, that's, that's the kind of task that a good web quest is wrapped around and in the process of, of accomplishing that task you will learn a whole lot about Canada uh, and you would learn it because the teacher had pre-prepared a number of good websites for them to look at instead of having them surf. Ou seja, o WebQuest exige um aprofundamento, uma verticalização na pesquisa. Yeah, it, it, individual children will go deeper and perhaps as a whole class you can get some breadth as well. You can you can have different aspects of a large fuzzy problem being attacked by by different children. One of my favorite WebQuests is one that looks at the problem of uh, the introduction of wolves in Yellowstone National Park in the United States. Uh, naturally, the wolves used to be there, and from an environmental reason, they're trying to introduce them. But around Yellowstone are farmers who have sheep that are being attacked by the wolves. So you, you look at problems like this from the point of view of the farmer, from the environmentalists, from uh, a number of different perspectives, and you have kids each individually delve into one of those positions, And then you have a whole class discussion, argument, debate about it. And so as a group, as a whole, people are getting the broad picture. But every kid walks into that situation being an expert on, on what it's like to be a farmer or what it's like to be uh, working for the Environmental Protection Agency or for an animal rights group and so on. So we get breadth and depth um, collectively and depth individually. Um dos temores que se tem em relação ao ensino em ambiente virtual é justamente o isolamento dos alunos, pelo menos aqui no Brasil. E é assim também com a WebQuest? I heard that same argument 20 years ago when when personal computers were being introduced into schools and to homes. Everyone feared that uh, kids would grow up no longer knowing how to talk to anybody else. But that didn't happen. Uh, kids crowded around the computer and they they uh, they talked about it, they argued about it, and if anything I think those kinds of social skills are, are improved. Uh, again, I, I think the better lessons are those in which you deliberately design interdependence, where one kid is reading one thing on the web and another is reading another, and the learning takes place in the conversation that they have away from the computer because they, they depend on each other. You've created a task that they both have to accomplish and they need to know what the other person knows. Um, to me, that's the essence of a good lesson. And, I, and un until the day comes when we're all carrying around individual computers and we have Borg-like eyepieces over our, uh, our left eye to be surfing the web constantly, I'm not worried about us becoming too individualistic. Bom, o que você está falando lembra um pouco um dos princípios do educador Paulo Freire. Ele costumava afirmar que as pessoas não se educam sozinhas, mas sim em comunhão de esforços. O WebQuest trabalha com esse espírito de construção compartilhada do conhecimento? There's no question. I can't say that my thinking was was directly influenced by by his writing, but uh, it's it's in the air we breathe in education in the U.S. right now to to acknowledge the fact that we we are social creatures and we learn socially. And if you look at the workforce today, knowledge is distributed across across individuals in any in any job related task uh, nobody knows everything there is to know 
but we get things done by by depending on somebody knowing how to run the camera and someone else knowing how to write the script and collectively we advance ourselves and we advance our knowledge because the, the knowledge is distributed it, it makes perfect sense to teach that way as well e qual seria o papel do professor no processo de investigação na internet uh, i wouldn't call it interfering but uh, the role of the teacher certainly changes uh, in english it rhymes uh, I, I, it probably won't in portuguese but it's the distinction between being the sage on the stage versus the guide on the side uh, I think uh, the role of a teacher in this kind of environment is one in which you you create this environment ahead of time. You create the pages that will guide the activities of the kids ahead of time. And uh, that's usually nights and weekends when you're not with the kids. But when you're in the classroom with the children, you no longer have to stand up there and be interesting because you can't be any more interesting than a web page. Uh, instead, your job is to to listen to the discussion among the kids, to to debug their misunderstandings, to help make sure that every voice gets heard among the kids, and that's a, that's a very different role. But but what you have is the satisfaction of listening to those conversations and knowing that they're thinking more actively and in, in in a more engaged way about the topic than they certainly than they would be if they were just listening to you and and pretending to take.